University of Stavanger is the first university to come out with figures concerning the tuition fees for international students here in Norway. Thank you so much for joining me again for another update. So University of Stavanger this morning has come up with tuition fees, proposed tuition fees for 2023 academic year. And I'll be going into that in details in a few minutes. So mind you, these figures are not the approved figures yet. When the proposal came in 2022, they had to set up a committee because they knew that there was no turning back on this whole thing. So they set up a committee to research on how much the tuition fees will be for the year 2023. And they've come up with three different figures. So for those going to study in the School of Science and Technology and Performing Arts, those three departments or faculties, you are going to be paying 150,000 kroners yes 150,000 kroners so for those that will be studying in the school of business and humanities and social sciences you're going to be paying one to five thousand kroners yes one to five thousand kroners and for the bachelor students you would be paying eighty thousand kroners yes 80,000 kroners. The speakers annoy at the approved figures. For this to be in place, it would, the law would have to be changed, as I've said in my previous update. It is more than just a proposal, more than just a budget. Tuition fee thing, it is still not a law officially. These are just figures the university is coming up with because they set their own committee to investigate or find out how much the tuition fees will be. And they had to calculate the cost that they will incur given the cutoff by the government. Leaving the school with no choice than to... <laughs> this was so smart. Because they know if they just say no tuition fees, everybody will go on the streets and go and protest. But now they went to the schools and then they told them they will not give them money. They should go and find their own money. Hence, they have no other choice than to charge tuition fees. Month of February, they claim if it's not a law, they would send they will send you letters to ask if you would still want to come and study in the University of Stavanger this year, given the new tuition fees. But before that, they're still waiting for the government. So the sector has set up this um, committee from the four BOTT universities here in Norway. That is the University of Oslo, University of Bergen, University of um, University of Tromsø, and then NTNU. So those universities are the ones fully or officially in charge to research into how much the tuition fees will cost. So you know in my previous updates I've been telling you about the metrics, calculate the metrics, calculate everything. So the people calculating the metrics have already started. They are the ones looking at how the tuition fees should be, what the base rate should be, how the tuition fees will be sent to the school, how they'll collect the money, what they'll use the money for, everything. They are the ones in charge. And hopefully by the end of this month of January, they should have come up with figures or somewhere early February so that they can send you the updates because you would have to hear from the school personally. So this tuition fees of 150,000, 1 to 5,000, 80,000, it is just the marginal cost. They say it is not the cost of everything. If they want to charge you based on what has been cut off, there will be nothing for you. They will not have any students come in. That would be about 250,000 kroners they have estimated. If they are to just close their eyes and then charge you, give you the full rate like let you feel the impact it's supposed to be 250,000 kroners but now they have decided to just remove all those things and come up with figures that will suit you best and suit them best equilibrium so they've come up with their figures to make sure it is not so much or higher than other universities around Norway other European countries which are more attractive 
other European countries which might be more attractive to you so they don't want it to be too high that people will be like so why should I even go to Norway when I can go and pay the same money in another university so they don't want it to be like that because now Norway is going to be competing with those universities they are now going to be on the same level so it's now like battle of the best and I'm very hopeful that they will give you value for money because Tuition fees, living expenses together. So they are setting up this committee and we are waiting for the committee to come. But in the meantime, we are still waiting for the whole law thing to be approved. So the minister said he is waiting for them. When they bring all their findings, he will put everything together, weigh all the options and see if the thing should still be ruled out. But then the universities are not happy with this whole thing. They claim that they should... They should find a way of postponing that into the whole to the year 2024 because this whole thing is going to be a rush work and it's going to take a lot than just telling you the tuition fee is this amount to so send this amount they would have to bring up new payment systems new ways of refunds in case you are not coming they would have to find a way of collecting the money from everybody, opening accounts, the money will enter, and setting up people that will be in charge of that. It's going to be a whole lot of work, and a whole lot of, has to be put in place. And that is, that is why the universities are saying that. See, you've put us in a tight position that we have to come up with figures. Fine. We will come up with the figures, but please, we are begging, make that thing in 2024. Because 2023, it is not going to be easy for us to do all of this within this time frame we have. And it is not even putting us in a good note or in a good light because we have delayed in even communicating to the students we've admitted. It is not done that way. So that is their plea now. They just want to save their face from all the whole embarrassment the system is putting them through now. They just pleading that it should be started in 2024. That will be better for everybody. So we do not know yet if the law will be passed this year or not. The universities have come up with the figures as they have been required to. But at the same time, they are still pleading. And now the whole thing it is not just going to affect international students or our fellow classmates in the universities from the EU area or the EEA area. It is not just going to affect we and then probably the internationalization and then the whole diversity thing. Now they are planning to even downsize. The universities are planning downsizing because they know that this whole thing is going to reduce the number of students that will come. They are projecting that they are going to get only five to ten students in the class from outside the EU and the EEA area. They are projecting that this are the number of people that will be coming. Five people. And I, I even in my university, there are courses that are just mainly international students you go there and you see your Ghanaian brothers in class a lot of them in class the whole class you're even speaking Ghanaian language in the class together during break time because we are a lot and those courses are only attractive to those coming from outside EU and EEA area since they're threatening to downsize they are not even threatening they've told their staff that you guys should be expected downsizing so now the teachers and then the teaching staff and everybody they are looking at each other who will be the next person to be fired from their job everybody has make steady everybody is so focused now because now we do not know who will be sacked <sighs> So now it is not just affecting the whole system of internationalization that all oh, um, students here are learning from students coming from abroad. It is not going to affect their staff. Oh, school looking good. The universities are still happy that even when the whole proposal and the whole bruhaha of the tuition fees came last year, you still went on to apply. You didn't use that as a deterrent to not apply so they're still happy with the numbers that you guys are concerned about the university and not about the whole political system that's going on here in norway so with that they're still fighting the universities are not relenting 
they are still hopeful that 2023 they will allow you to come but then it will be easier for those coming in 2024 to know that oh there is tuition fee now you told them one year ahead so for those that would want to work extra to get enough money to come it would be easy for them even if we had the money sitting there you would have to prepare and plan that okay i'm going to be using you for this but now here is the case no prior info instead i said he would listen to everybody's views and everybody's opinions and then come up with the best that would suit everybody this is the universities that have the forefront with the students they know their students that come they know this whole thing will be a shock to the system at least for the first few years their intake will be so low so that is why they've set the price that even if they lose, because the government has removed money from their budget for the year, meaning the people that are coming would have to cover up for that budget. If they set the price too low and nobody even comes for that low price, they'll be at loss. But then they want to be able to set it to a high amount that even if 10 of you comes, at least it'll be okay for them because of the budget cuts. Budget cuts is really bad. It's going to affect them so much at this point we are still waiting for the BOTT people that have started the investigation or the research and everything we're waiting for them to come up with figures they started the whole thing last week so hopefully by the end of January or first week of February they should come up with another figure but I'm very sure there'll be more updates this week because now everything is a reality it is so clear so i'm very sure there will be more updates this week so just stick and stay if you're yet to subscribe just do so that you don't miss out and be late to get notified when i upload a video so as that's when the updates come i'll do well to keep you informed i'll do well to post it don't forget to leave a comment also just like this video if you found it helpful interesting and i will see you in my next video Bye-bye.